you found you, you probably feel stuck in life too. And it's interesting that most of the situations that we end up stuck in are our own fault or they're situations of our own creation. And we just don't want to acknowledge that fact because chances are whatever situation you're in, there have been opportunities where you've had the option to make a different choice that probably would have given you a different outcome, but you were just too scared to do that in the moment. So instead you did what was familiar, what was comfortable. And that's why you are where you are. And I've been pondering this lately because a lot of times we'll think, oh, you know, woe is me. The universe is against me. God, this or whatever. But I realize that's pretty selfish of us to blame these cosmic forces as if as if they have something against us. When in reality, that's just our way of avoiding responsibility for our own lives. Sorry, that was <laughs> my car's Bluetooth. But I've been thinking over this a lot because I've been trying to take more charge of my own life and actually move in a direction that's going to get me to where I want to go. And upon like journaling and thinking about these things, I realized that I'm only where I am right now. I'm not content in life because I made a selection of choices or I made an array of choices that have kept me stuck when I had the opportunity to take the risk, jump into the pond, so to speak. I didn't. I just turned around and did what was comfortable. And it's kept me stuck and feeling unfulfilled. And I feel like a lot of people can relate to that in the sense of you're in a position in life where you know you can do more, you know you want more, but you just haven't taken that risk because you're afraid. And to you, all I have to say is this. Is it worth sacrificing the future you could have for the comfort of the moment? Like, is it worth staying in complacency, living in the familiar and what you know? Or would it be more fulfilling for you to just take the leap, do that thing that sounds scary that people might laugh at you for? Like for me, like making this video is a little bit awkward because like you're putting yourself out there, you're putting your thoughts out to the world or you get absolutely flamed. But then at the same time, who gives a damn? Like who cares what some random people are going to have to say? If it makes me feel fulfilled, that's exactly what I'm going to do. And that's kind of where I'm at right now. I've made the decision that I'm just going to do the tasks that I know I should be doing that I'm not doing, that I know would move the lever and push me forward. And I feel like if you're seeing this, you should do the exact same thing because I'm willing to bet there's something that you want to do or there's something that you know you could be doing that you just aren't doing out of fear. And it might be fear of the unknown. It might be fear of failure. For me, it's been like a fear of failure because what if I don't succeed? What if I just hit that brick wall? When in reality, I feel like a fear of failure is just your body screaming that you lack the courage to step into the unknown because you don't inherently know if you're going to fail or not, but you being so afraid of failing, it's just your brain's way of saying you don't have the courage to even see if you could do the thing. So you'd rather just assume it would crash and burn. And when I've been thinking about things like that, it's made it easier to step out of my comfort zone because I realize that all of the fear that I'm operating from only attracts what I want least. Like, have you noticed that when you are so afraid to step into the unknown and create a future that you could be proud of, you tend to attract the very thing you didn't want. You tend to attract complacency. You tend to attract the life that keeps you stuck. And that's kind of where I'm finding myself at now is I've been stuck in a mental cage of my own creation simply because I didn't want to take enough risk on myself. And now I realize like there's no there's no point in aspiring for more and wanting more out of my life if I'm not willing to take the leap myself. Because it only it only goes so far to think about the things you want to do. It's kind of like what Chris Williamson says. Thinking about the thing isn't doing the thing. Planning about doing the thing isn't doing the thing. Thinking about planning to do the thing isn't doing the thing. The only thing that's actually going to move the needle and push you forward is stepping out of your comfort zone 
and doing that exact thing you know you should be doing if you want to create the life you want to live. So if this message reached you, I'm glad. And I hope this kind of inspires you a bit to take a little bit of action, even if it's just recording the video and posting it to private. Whatever that thing is you want to do, just go do it because you're going to regret later in life not having the stories, not having taken the risks that you want to take right now. You're going to regret these things later. And sorry if this is all over the place. I'm just I'm just spitballing off the cuff here because this has been really racking around my brain. And I feel like a lot of us in Gen Z struggle with this. Like I'm 22 right now and it's easy to feel like, woe is me, life is so hard. When in reality, we're so young that we can afford to take these risks that we're so afraid to take. Like, I feel like we just compare ourselves to everyone and everything around us. And I feel like that's what keeps us stuck. We see that other people have gone so far. But that's really just us comparing our level one to someone else's level 55. Like, what are we actually doing? Obviously, we are not going to come out the gate making 10K a month, a million dollars a year. But that's what everyone's perception of success is when in reality we have to realize everybody starts somewhere no one just starts at the top unless you're just some trust fund baby chances are if you're watching this you're not a trust fund baby right so we gotta start from where we can we have to do what we are capable of doing we just have to take the small steps because that's what's actually going to push us forward but just sitting here contemplating doing the thing mulling it over being so afraid to step into the unknown well, that's never going to get us where we want to go. Now, is it?